what we're doing today is we're going to talk about how we automate your receivables and we streamline the whole invoice to payment process specifically for Sage 300. I look after the partner channel and AJ is our CEO. AJ comes from a background of owning a business and, and finding out how, how not being able to get your receivables into the bank um, can cause major problems in your business. And of course, I work on the premise that a sale is not a sale until the money's in the bank. Up until that time, it's a gift. And I think you should all put that on the wall so you know that um, up until the time that you actually get the money, it's not really a sale. Our agenda for today is we're going to talk about Easy Collect and Sage 300 specifically. We're going to get to the point of how you get paid on time all the time. We're going to look at how we streamline payments and how you can accept payments 24 seven using the payment portal, because you may not know this, but 25 to 26% of all people now, now pay out of normal business hours. So it's very important to make sure that you'd have no barrier to people paying you. Um, we're going to show you how you save time with the correct automatic, <coughs> excuse me, automatic allocation of the payment against invoices and more specifically sales orders. So you can, you can actually get payments for sales orders if you're taking payment prior to shipping the goods, which is becoming more and more prevalent. And we're going to show you how to get a more human customer experience and get paid first. Finally, we're going to just briefly talk on how you can use data and data siloing to make better decisions to make sure that when you onboard people, they're the right people, and that you can continue to get across your current debtor book to make sure that they're always going to, be, going to be good payers in the future. So what are the benefits that we're going to show you today about Easy Collect? <clears throat> well, one of the most important things, of course, is to get paid on time all the time. And the benefits of Easy Collect with Sage 300, and the integration is has been specifically written using the Sage 300 API. So it is it is a custom solution for the Sage 300 product. Um, we'll show you how automated workflows will get you easily collecting payments, reduce time on collecting, and of course, never ever miss an overdue invoice. Quite often we find in debtors books that you might have um, a lot of the bigger invoices and you put a lot of effort into getting those, but anything under a thousand dollars potentially just gets left and uh, a lot of those invoices can add up to a, a tidy sum. So it's important to keep across all of your debtor book. Um, the other benefit of course is as I alluded to earlier is being able to have payments available to your customers 24-7. And our customer portal and our payments portal will show you how to do this. So customers at any point can log in, they can make a payment, they can make a part payment, not only against an invoice, but against a sales order or even a pro forma. They can also um, download a copy of the invoice and a copy of the statement at the same time. And for those of you here that are in the account space or the accounts receivable space, you know the bane of your life is people calling up saying, oh, I can't pay, can you please send me a copy of the invoice? So being able to, to, to have a self-serve portal for customers to be able to do invoice downloads themselves and statement downloads themselves saves you a lot of time. And of course, the new Easy Collect feature um, engages with the direct debit system, which means that you get paid on time, on due date for every invoice, and it automates that order to cash cycle. And AJ will show you a little bit more about that when we do the in-depth demo. One of the other big benefits, of course, is saving time. Um, and again, coming from a receivables background, you know the nightmare that you sometimes face when you open your bank statement the following day and there's a payment from XYZ Limited for $1,000. They haven't bothered to put any invoice reference on it. They just said, you don't know where it goes, what to allocate it to. If you're lucky, they'll send you a remittance advice in the next 24 to 48 hours, but you've got nowhere to really put it. So it goes into unallocated payments or it gets allocated to the wrong invoice. Using the payment portal, even if they part pay, Easy Collect just automatically writes that back to the invoice that they're paying against because they've nominated that. So we save time with reconciling unmatched payments. And of course, we get a better customer experience because if they want to pay an invoice, they don't have to worry about a remittance advice or they don't have to worry about telling you what they've paid. The portal does all that. So the whole purpose of it is to save time. 
and then using data to make better decisions. A lot of people use credit applications, they use the old PDF form or an email form and they, they do the three credit reference checks and there's no real scientific methodology behind that. So we have now developed onboarding so you can do a very in-depth analysis of the person that you're giving credit to and also you monitor your existing book to make sure that just because someone, for example, has been with you for five years doesn't necessarily mean that they're, they're still in a good shape financially. So we can use data to constantly update uh, the, 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 um, <clears throat> the benefits of whether they're a good customer. And, and also the data will show you if they've got an, you've got an account management problem, they might be paying everybody else but not paying you. So there's a lot of data use that we can make available to you to make it much more scientific to manage your book. So what and who is Easy Collect? Well, I'll pass over to AJ now and he'll be able to give you um, his part of the presentation. So over to AJ. Okay, look, um, we'll get into a demo shortly. Thank you everyone for attending. My name's AJ and um, we really appreciate you guys making the time. So what GB has covered here is a high level overview of some of the benefits. What I want to take you through is a bit more about what is the product and how does it work with Sage 300 and why do you care, right? Why would it help your business? Now, to give you, as I go through these two or three more slides and we'll jump into an actual demo. Uh, let's take an example of a you know, wholesale business that's um, roasting and wholesaling, say, coffee beans. So they're in the food and beverage industry. A lot of our customers actually are in that uh, industry. And I'm gonna, if you use that as a little case study as we go through these slides, um, I'll explain to you how EasyClick is actually helping a business like that to reduce their late payment by you know, 30, 40% in the first 12 months, helping them to, as uh, GB mentioned, save time, um, to run a better business, to be more efficient, and ultimately to you know, have less stress um, and, and focus on growing their business. So that, co that coffee wholesaler, um, before using EasyCollect, had a lot of manual processes, um, and I'm using my own examples here when I ran my own wholesale business. As a, um, as a business owner, I was focused on growing business and I would have my sales reps trying to you know, go talk to customers and open accounts and say, hey guys, let's get this sale quickly. And account opening was a very um, kind of ad hoc process where we would open trade accounts for our uh, prospects based on a couple of references. And if those references were good, you know, if we called one or two references that they were good, we would give someone you know, credit for $10,000, $15,000. And so when we started looking at how do we solve the order to cash process, it has to start at the, at the very top. How do you onboard the right customers that will actually pay on time? So when you look at this Easy Collect platform here, the first part of Easy Collect is actually customer onboarding and assessing the risk of possible prospects. So when I go into the demo, I'll show you first, if you were to use Easy Collect and if you're a wholesale manufacturing distribution business, how do you extend credit to your customers in an automated, digital, data-driven way. That's the first part, and that's what we call credit insights. Then as you go through that order to cash cycle, um, once you have your customers, how do you engage with your customers? How do you present your customers with ways to get invoice copies, to download invoices, to get statements? How do you give your customers a way to actually pay their bills and how do you follow up your customers when they don't pay on time, right? So that's what we call our automated collections uh, module. And what that really is, is giving you and your customers a way to interact together, to, to get invoices, make payments, and when they don't pay, send automated emails, SMSs. And if you already have, like most of our customers have, they have AR staff, how does your staff actually make phone calls? How do I bring the humanized element of collections so that I can automate certain aspects, but I also want to make the phone calls, manage my disputes. That's the automated collection. And it's important when we go through the demo that as a business using Sage 300, you want to have the best of breed tools that represents your business. You keep the customer relationships, so you can keep buying and selling from that customer, but you also want to get paid on time. And I'll show you how you can do that through the collections module. And then finally, I'll show you payments. Payments is a plugin to Sage 300 that really simply allows you to add a pay now button to your sales orders or your pro forma invoices, to your actual invoices. Um, if you have a web store uh, added to your web stores, 
allows you to collect payment 24 seven from your customers and automatically reconcile that back into Sage 300. So you can have multiple modes of accepting payment and getting that back into Sage 300. And that's really important for like getting paid faster. So that's, you know, in a, in a sort of nutshell, the three modules. And if someone still doesn't pay you, by the way, um, you can hit a button to escalate to third party legal and debt collection if you so require. So by the way, if you have any questions or if I'm going too fast or too slow, please use the chat and we'll address all the questions at the end of the webinar today. So um, moving on just a bit more about EasyClick, and I'll get into the demo. Um, as Amanda uh, has already given the background, we're a business that um, is focused on one thing, helping our clients get paid faster, right? And as a result, we, you know, we think we are the best of breed uh, product and working with Sage allows us to uh, give you the tools that you need to run a better business. Um, what you um, also find with Easy Collect, and I'm just kind of going to um, repeat it here again, because sometimes there's so much that we offer. We, we try and break it into three separate modules, collections, payments, and credit insights. The point of this slide is you, can, you may not need all three modules. You might say, I only need a payment solution. That's fine. You can come in and use what you need. Or you might say, hey, I love the onboarding, but I don't need, I don't need to chase my customers you can use what we call credit insights. So I'll show you all these three modules one by one, um, but keep in mind, they all work together, but they can, also be, they can also be used separately based on your cycle or your business need. Um, and fundamentally, we want to see you have a benefit. You know, so what, you're using EasyCollect. Um, apart from the time saving and the efficiency, you will see a 43% re reduction in your overdue outstandings, which means if you're owed a million dollars or $2 million in like receivables, that will come down to you know three four hundred thousand dollars on average um, within within twelve months. So that means more working capital, more cash flow in your business. So hopefully you can grow faster. You can you can invest that back into your business. The kind of businesses we work with uh, across a whole bunch of different industries, um, manufacturing, wholesale services, are where you have large value you know a large volume of invoices, typically lower margin. So you're looking for efficiency. You're looking for automation. You're looking how do I help my business scale by using you know products like Easy Collect. So that's you know what we have here. And look, if you have any detailed questions, please reach out to your account manager at Micro Channel, and and we can go deeper on some of these things. But um, this is giving you a high level sense of who we kind of deal with. Now, before I jump into the actual demo, um, I'm going to summarize here. Easy Collect. It's an all-in-one platform, everywhere from customer onboarding to getting paid. We solve cash flow we help you get paid faster that's our objective and we integrate tightly into sage 300 what that means is you don't have to upload data to us we are like one system so if you create an invoice in sage that invoice will automatically be an easy click when a payment gets made it automatically goes back into sage so there's no you know double handling right you aren't going to be having to spend hours to start easy click you can be up and running you know in like sort of like in like half a day type of thing, right? So it's not a long process to get started with Easy Collect. So look, um, I'm gonna go into the demo here. Uh, Amanda, if there's any questions, just feel free to let me know if it's anything pressing, otherwise we'll address them at the end. Um, now, hopefully you can all, I've just flicked screens. Uh, hopefully you can all see um, the demo screen of Easy Collect. Amanda, just let me know if you can't. I've just flicked into Easy Collect, I'm assuming. If, it's all good. Thank you. All good? Thanks, AJ. Okay, great. Thank you. Sometimes you don't know when you're doing this webinar. You feel like you're talking to yourself. Um, all right. So, look, this is Easy Collect. And what I want to say here, the numbers and the data that you're actually seeing here is a real-time sync with Sage 300. So, what that means is when you create your invoice or you have a payment or you have a credit note or you create a customer, whatever happens in Sage, which is your source of truth, that'll automatically be here in Easy Collect real-time. You don't have to have uh, double data entry. And that's really, really important. And that's why we have this tight coupling with Sage 300. Now, once you're in Easy Collect, um, I'm gonna go through this the same way I explained that order to cash cycle. We'll talk about the first module, which is how do I onboard customers? And how do I look at the risk of my customers I onboard? Then I'll talk to you about how do you chase and engage your customers? And I'll talk to you about payments. Okay, so that's the three ways we go. So just as we get started, what you're looking at here is a dashboard that kind of brings in all the data from Sage and you can kind of get a bird's eye view on the health of your business. Who are my oldest, my largest, customers I should be worried about, what we call red zone, customers who are over their credit limit. You know, it's kind of a customizable dashboard where you can see 
a quick snapshot of your business. But let's start where I've mentioned is your first interaction with brand new prospects, right? So imagine you're a sales rep and you want to open up an account. You can now, if you're doing manual sort of account opening forms or you're doing things that are not digital, this is a way to take your current process and literally within minutes, make it digital, right? And what, what EasyClick does, it allows you to customize your career application form. So we can copy what you have today and replicate it online. And once you've got it online, we'll give you a link which you can pop into your website, you can put it on your phone, you can put it on your email, you can send it, send it wherever you like. And what it does, if a customer clicks that link, it'll open up a credit application form like this. So if I just go back to that link again, right, that's the link. I'll go into a page like this. Let me jump up a new tab here. I'll paste this here and your customer will see a credit application form that pops up here and they can start the process with the click of a button. Okay. Now this will be branded with your like, with your like details. Um, then I can come in here and assume I'm the end prospect. I can put in my ABN. So let's, I'll type in an ABN here. That is the easy collect ABN. Um, and what you'll see here is we'll start to pre-fill all the information. So we make it really easy for the debtor or the prospect to fill this up as well. And we'll, we'll, we have a connection to ASIC. So we'll check all the data. Is this ABN for this company? And we can pre-fill director details, address information. I won't go through this whole form. Uh, and you can even capture payment details at this stage. Right, so what you're seeing here is a way for your customer to firstly digitally enter the information, which in itself is really, really great, right? Once they do that and they upload their trade reference, they click next, 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 and they complete the application. Then you, as a wholesale business, can say, hey, that's great. My customers, you know, completed the application. You can actually track, you know, where they are in that, in that process so you know if it's been completed or not. And once it has been completed, you can then pop into the into the kind of back office and actually see what they've completed. You can see, you know, who's the directors, what they filled in here. And where we then, what, the, what, what EasyClick does then, we enhance the data by giving you external credit scores on the customer. See, because before you want to open up a um, trade account with a business, you want to have some external verification that is this customer actually a good risk, a bad risk? Is it someone you want to do business with? Now, Yes, they might give you three trade references and, you know, I don't know about you, but I've never had a bad trade reference ever given to me. So, you know, from, I, I think what you want to do as a business is before you even want to work with someone, you want to make sure it's a good, it's a good customer. Otherwise you're just onboarding bad debt, right? And what you can see here, we'll give you all the information of who the actual executives are as registered in ASIC. We will then give you a, a score, a late payment score and a failure score coming from a third party credit reporting bureau. So these bureaus, their only job is to check the scores of businesses. And they have, you know, 30,000 data points. And we have a partnership with um, Dun & Bradstreet in Australia, it's called Illion. And we take all their data and we present it to you in app real time, right? So you don't have to go to any third party to get this data, it's all within Easy Collect. So once you've looked at the score and you think, hey, this is good or, or bad, you can then even go and get a credit report and a credit report is going deeper if you want to get information like PPSR or cross directorships or defaults or court actions, it's all in the report. You can then call your um, sort of, you know, references as well if you like want to. And ultimately you can then say, I want to finalize the application on or approve or reject this customer. Okay. Um, and you can see it's done really simply. It's all digital. And once it's done, your customers get a note saying, hey, well done, welcome to company ABC. Uh, love to work with you, right? And that scoring that we give you is something which you can use for new applications. You can do scores on like demand. You might say, hey, I want to check the score of this business before I even send the application. You can do that as well, right? And one of my favorite things is kind of just to digress slightly is Getting scores on your new customers is great, right? But what GB always tells me, and he's sitting off camera here, is how about my existing customers? You know, um, what if three, four months later, my existing customers who I onboarded three months ago have become worse, how do I know? Part of the credit risk module that we have is we can present you scores, not just on your new customers, but also on your existing customers. Now, 
A, because of our link with Sage 300, all the data of your existing customers is automatically uploaded into the system. So you don't need to like key in ABN and customer name, it's all here automatically. And what we do is we'll match the ABN and the company name, and then we'll give you a score, as you can see on the right-hand side, for those customers, right? So for example, you can see in this example, Walters Rolfson has a late, so this is your existing customer now, you may have onboarded them previously, they were, you know, pretty, they were pretty low, low risk. Now you can see the risk is actually high, right? Uh, at an individual customer level. So you can actually go down to individual customers in your book and see the risk of those customers. Right now, I'm spending time on this module because this is part of the order to cash process. Um, I can talk about you know chasing customers till the cars come home, but if you don't get this right, then you, you you're just kind of chasing your tail. Right, so this is at an individual level, um, and then if you really want to say, hey, at my at a, at a kind of dashboard level, can you show me um, for all my customers what's the risk of my whole book? Right, you can come back to the to this dashboard here, and this this dashboard here shows you your aging distribution, which is, you know, how kind of, you know, old or, you know, overdue your customers are in terms of 30, 30, 60, 90 days. But then if you want to see it from a risk point of view, we've got the same, we've got the same kind of, I think this is a pretty cool dashboard. It takes, it takes different view of your customers. It's not just based on aging, but it's based on risk as well. So you can say at an individual level, here's my customer risk. But let me go up at a bird's eye view and see what are the groups of risk that I have for my customers. So for example, this one here, you know, I have seven customers who are a potential relationship issue or 56 customers here who I should watch and monitor. What these things are basically, they're just, in, in, I'll give you one example. In this potential relationship issue, these are customers who where the risk data is showing us, they're paying the market pretty much on time because they're fairly low risk externally but they're paying you quite late, you specifically, Mr. ABC company. So it could be an issue with you and them, and that's why they're paying you late. And then you can drill down onto these customers and say, okay, Casper Group, let's maybe do something about it, right? And you can drill into Casper Group and then do something about it as well, okay? So I'm just gonna pause there for a second because I've shown you a lot of information here, um, but I guess what I'm trying to um, explain to you is, that module called Credit Insights is all about trying to manage the risk of the customer before you start working with them. All right, GB, any, anything you want to add there? No, that's look from a from a from an AR perspective and from a, an onboarding perspective. If if you AJ's perfectly right, if if you if you're onboarding high risk people and you're not doing scientific credit checks of them from the very beginning then you're just, un, you're just onboarding um, a problem later on. The other thing too is that, as, as, I, as I said before, customers do change and just because they've been a fantastic customer for five years doesn't mean that they're a great customer uh, today. And this is more, even more relevant with the current economic times that we find ourselves in. It's, it's, if, if you can be ahead of the game and, and know what you're doing from the get-go, you've got much more chance of success of, a, of, a, of no bad debt or a customer failing uh, in your book. Yeah. Okay. And look, if you want a credit score or a free credit report, just reach out to your, uh, to your account manager and we'll organise for you to see what a credit report looks like or get a credit score and a customer that you might be concerned about. So just reach out to your microchannel account manager and we'll set something up for free for you guys. So that's just something we can help you with so you can see what is the data actually showing you. All right, so you've got the right customers on board. How do I engage with my customers? How do I interact with my customers? How do I communicate with my customers? So what you're looking at here is your, I guess, engine room of your communication process. Um, because we connected to Sage, we know invoice, what the invoices are, we know the customers, we know their contact information, and we know the due dates, right? So we can then set up a very bespoke uh, communication workflow that is tailored to whatever you want. You know, we could say, look, for my, for my first follow-up, when an invoice is actually due, wait two days, send an email, SMS, fax, you can do whatever you want, attach all my overdue invoices from Sage automatically, so we'll pull the invoices in automatically. This is a one-time set and forget template. Now, when I say one time, I'd say come in every month and update the template. But this, these, these templates come from your own email address. There's, there's no easy collect micro channel anyway. It's an e it's, it's a 
it's a it's a customized white label uh, email, um, and then using the merge merge data from Sage, we can generate a um, an email that goes out to your customer uh, that's very personalized. Uh, after two days, automatically attaching invoice copies, everything in a in a in a you know, I think very professional way. And we've also we also understand you might have multiple invoices to the same customer. We don't over communicate because we know the value of communication is sometimes less is more. We'll group, as you can see, invoices together and we run that based on the oldest overdue invoice. Um, and yeah, it's very personal, gives them what they need, self-service. And I'll show you what all this, what these buttons do in a second when I click, you know, view invoice or pay by installment. That's kind of the, the payment section. But I'm just trying to show you right now with that email that's automated and looks professional. If someone pays, happy days we can send a thank you message automatically as well, which you can again customize, which is really nice. If someone doesn't pay, the system then can say, wait four days or five days or whatever you want, send my next follow-up. Could be an email, an SMS. Um, it's the squeaky wheel, right? Gets the oil. That's the kind of thing we're saying. This consistent, persistent, personal, professional follow-ups is what works. Now, best practice shows us if you, for the third follow-up, you can do an email again, sure, but we find the effectiveness goes down. But part of the humanized connection means you should also make a phone call, right? Now, phone calls means that if you already have an AR person or you are an AR person on the call, you want to be more efficient with your time. Let's automate tasks that you can automate, but things that you can't automate or you shouldn't automate is talking to your customers, having that conversation. So when a call is due, the system will send an email to you in the morning to say, hey, um, John, please make these seven calls today. You'll click into the email, it'll show you your calls, and then you click into the call you have to make and it'll come into Easy Collect. And then you can see your call list for the day. So me as an AR operator, I can see I have to make these 46 calls today. I can look at the risk of my customers if I want to, um, and, actually, and actually make the call, right? Um, so you know, in, in this example, Clark Conroy and uh, Dietrich, there's a call task that's due. Right, you can see it says here, it's due on the 29th of October, 2020. So I'm two years late to make this call. So not really hitting my like KPIs here. <laughs> um, but what the point is, I can then see what's already happened in the previous, any email sent, any previous communication sent, any, any notes sent, it's all saved. And all this history is in one place, right? I can also see the, the open invoices for this customer as well. So there are multiple, I can see them in one place, all the contact information comes in, all from Sage, right? And all the risk. Now in this case, if I'm actually worried, I can see it's actually quite a high risk customer, high risk of failure, high risk of late payment, and they're paying us late, right? You can see they're, they're, it's all like overdue. So what I can do here is I can actually make my call and I can say, I made my call today and I spoke to Amanda. Sorry, Amanda, I'm gonna put you in the, in the firing line here. Um, said she would pay today. Um, but I don't think she is telling us the truth. Okay. Now, but let's say that is, sorry, sorry, Amanda, this is not about you. This is just a random example. Um, I'm laughing. And, but, <laughs> and so in this case, right, like I don't want to, I, I don't want the system to chase perhaps for two or three days because, you know, I'm, I'm going to believe Amanda is going to not actually you know, Amanda is telling the truth, you know, so then I'll hit save, right? And I want the system then, firstly, before I, you know, manage what the next step is, I can confirm my phone call with Amanda as well. So the system will prompt me to say, send an email to Amanda to, to confirm what you just said. And I can even send an email automatically to the system uh, to Amanda. And what you'll see very, um, uh, what you'll see happen is both those activities, my, my, my call notes that I just made are there. And the email that I sent to Amanda in a second will also be saved in the activity history. If I could just make a point here too, AJ. The, the, the follow-up email is actually quite important because sometimes we ignore that. But what that, what that does is confirm with Amanda that we have heard her tell us that she will pay this today and we've accepted that. And that actually, weirdly enough, 
it does stimulate people to actually keep to their promise because we basically affirmed with them that that's what we've said. But because the system does it automatically for us, we don't then have to go back into Outlook, retype an email, it gets missed because we, we you know, we took another phone call. Easy Collect does all that for you and just makes that, that collection of cash just that much more efficient. Exactly right. And if and when Amanda actually reads the email, you will actually track the red receipt and you'll see it here as well. That's a good point, JB. Now, now I don't want the system to keep chasing Amanda, say, for three or four days because she's promised she'll, she'll pay me. So you, you would come in here and you could add a promise as well at an invoice level or at a customer level. So you could say, I want to maybe, you know, not chase this invoice only for, say, till the, let's say today is what today? Today is the 10th. So say I won't just amend it till the 16th, give it a time for the money to come in, settle, you know, get paid. And I'll say, you know, Amanda's <coughs> promised PRM to pay, right? And and, it'll, and what and what this is what the magic is. If it's not received, the chasing will automatically resume. You know, we talked about that consistent, persistent follow-up. That's what it's all about, right? It's about saying, hey, if she doesn't pay, you don't want to have a note in your diary saying, I better call Amanda back on the 18th. The system will automatically check that not paid in stage and start chasing at the next step and it'll go back into your call task or email automation will happen based on where it needs to be in the workflow right i'm going to add my promise it's done it'll exclude the customer for a period of time you'll have a little promise there with, with a little you know handshake and a heart symbol so don't please break our heart is what it's tr trying to tell us because you've promised to pay <laughs> and um and that's what it is right um, and that's just an example of how you would do a call task that's just one small example there's lots of use cases for you know making call tasks, um, but to me, calling is really important. So in your like workflow collection module, um, I cannot under underestimate or underemphasize to you guys the value of calls. You need to make phone calls, but easy if we can help you be more efficient in making those calls is the point I'm trying to bring across to you guys. All right um, now. What, one of the main tasks in AR that we maybe don't like doing is we don't like calling people, but because with Easy Collect, we've sent out a couple of reminder emails, we sent them copies of invoices attached to the emails, we've, we've basically warmed them up to almost expect a call. So it's not, you're not just doing it cold. They've got, they've, they've got no pushback either because they can't say, oh, well, can you send me a copy of an invoice? Because we can see that the email that we sent them four days ago, we sent them copies of the invoices. So it, it, it even makes the call easier. And, and quite often what happens is you'll call someone and they'll go, oh, you know, hi, Jane. Yes, no, 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 I'm paying it today. I've, uh, and, and that's all it takes to just push the, push the payment just that little bit quicker because you warm them up to the call. Yeah. The um, now now as we talk about you know calling, what often is a use case from our, when we talk to our to our customers is I'm on the phone, customer saying, can you please send me a copy of the invoices? I didn't get it. Now, ideally, right, they would have had a couple of reminders before. They would have all the information, but let's say they you know don't have it. To save you time, if someone's on the phone to send me a copy of the invoices while they're still talking to you. You can go to, into this actions button here and click send email to your customer through Easy Collect. And what it has, we have a bunch of templates that you can um, save. And you know, one template could be send email to the customer when they like, you know, like need it, right? We call it an on-demand email. And what it does, it pre-fills all the information that your customer would need. So if I hit preview on that just for, for a second, let's say I'm talking to you know customer Gleason, Smitham, and Mitchell. I'm called talking to Mitchell in this case. Um, you know, I can say, Mitchell, you said you didn't get it. Just while you're on the phone, let me hit send from here. And I can actually, I can send this email right now to, to like Mitchell. And Mitchell will get this email in his or her Outlook or whatever tool they're using. And they can actually get everything they need instantly. You don't have to go into Sage, create an email in Outlook, attach invoice copies. It's all done in literally under two seconds. And when they get it, what you'll notice, there's a thing that says view invoices and pay by installment. So now let's say, well, I'm, I'm, I'm still on the phone, you say to Mitchell, did you get it? He goes, yep, I got it. Can you just click the button and actually you know, maybe make payment right now because you know, you're know you way, way overdue? He goes, okay, sure. He clicks the button that says view invoices. And what will it'll open up now is easy click payments. This is the payments portal or the customer portal that your customers will see when they need to make a payment. 
so the, the payment portal will have your company logo, your name, and it'll show a live view of all the invoices that are currently owing by that customer. In this case, owing by Mitchell, Gleason, and Smitham. Right? Now, there are other menu items on here. They can go and look at previous statements if they want to get a copy of the statement. This is a portal. It's a customer portal. Your customers can live here to get invoice copies, get statement copies, and also make payments. Right? So let's say, I, in this case, he says, yep, sure, I'll pay the invoice that's the least amount, let's say the $700 invoice, because that's, that's all he wants to pay for whatever reason. Um, so he goes down there, and he can then actually, real time, pay by bank transfer, which means you don't have to log into your bank, we'll take the details in one portal. And when we take the details, we'll automatically debit his account and reconcile that back into your Sage 300 account. And that's really important. And I think it's a real value add um, when we talk about why, it's not just about taking payment, but it's about allocating the payment back in Sage. And GB will show you, uh, um, if you're interested, what it looks like in Sage. Like what does that, what does that payment look like when it's put back into Sage at the end? If that's a question, um, just let, let us know and GB will take you through it. Or if I want to pay by like credit card, I can click pay by credit card and your customer can put in their email address, you know, abc at b.com. They can put in their card number that they want to pay by. And what you'll notice when I put my card number in, it'll automatically detect if it's a Visa, MasterCard or an Amex. And based on the card type, you can, um, you can set some rules whether you want to absorb fees or surcharge the fees automatically. Now, please, if you, you're saying to me, credit card's too expensive, I don't want to pay, accept credit card. You know, the, the counter argument to that is just surcharge 100% of the fees to your customers and let your customer decide whether they want to pay by credit card or not. Don't make the decision for them because people love to pay by credit card. You know, we have, I'd say 30% of payments on our, on our platform coming through credit card because people are getting points. In the current economic climate we're in, people are trying to extend the, the cash flow and credit card for a 1.75% fee, for example, isn't a big cost. Um, it's cheaper than co the cost of debt, right? With interest rates going up and everything else. So just don't, don't um, underestimate the value of offering credit card. Um, it, or if you already do it, then do it in this way because what it does allows your customers to pay. We automate the collection and the reconciliation back into Sage 300. Um, and when someone pays, by the way, we can also uh, ask them if they want to save their card details, uh, basically set up a direct debit. So the next time you have an invoice, it'll automatically debit them on the due date. Now you might think, why would your customer want to save their credit card details? But it's amazing how many customers just don't want to log in to pay. They just want to have an easy, quick way. Let me save my details. When you raise the invoice in Sage, EasyClick will automatically debit them on the due date. I'll show that to you in a second how that works. But this is a way where your end customer right? Mitchell can actually say, hey, hey, next time uh, I've saved my details. So, I, so next time you won't have to even call them because they'll automatically debit them on the due date. That's the benefit of them doing that. They click pay now and Bob's your uncle, payment will be processed, written back into, into, into Sage um, and it's happy days and this invoice will drop off from here and it will drop off from Sage as well. So, you know, it's all kind of connected. And just lastly, you know, if you want to offer your customers like a kind of like an afterpay, and say, hey, can you um, pay by installments? That's another payment option. What this does really, it allows your customers to, to select, hey, I can't pay by credit card, I can't pay by bank, but can I pay my invoice in six installments? But this is really a finance offer because we pay you the full amount upfront. So if your customer selects this, you still get paid the full 100% of the, of the invoice of say $1,000 today, but your customer then pays us over six installments. Doesn't pay us, pays our uh, finance company. But, which is a third party. But more importantly, it's non-recourse. So if the debt goes bad, it goes bad with the finance company. It, it, there is never any rebound back to you um, to say, oh, they didn't pay us, we want our money back. It's not like factoring. It is a genuine, they enter into an agreement with, with a finance um, uh, entity to, to pay that debt and the debt resides with the finance entity. You, your money is free and clear and the, and the invoice is paid in, in your system and always will be. Correct, correct. So that's a really important point, right? It's, it's not something that you have to kind of, you know, be like chasing consistently um, to get paid. Um, yeah, so that's, 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 that's quite important. So I've shown you, like that's a self-service portal. The other use case is a customer calls up and says, can I make payment over the phone? Which is a pretty common use case from a lot of our customers. 
same thing again here. You would come into the into the customer page. In this case, assume it's a, the same customer that's calling. Select the invoice that you actually want to uh, take payment for. It could be multiple invoices, and you click collect now. Now you, as a operator, can actually instigate that payment over the phone in a PCI compliant meaning in a in a in a in a safe, secure way. And you then take payment over the phone. The benefit of doing it through here is when you take it over the phone, you're doing it securely. You're doing it you're doing it according to the to the laws of credit card data security. But importantly, it will allocate it back against that invoice automatically in Sage 300. Right? That's the important point. It's going to be an automatic allocation back into Sage 300. So you can see that's the detail of the invoice that they're paying, right? I can see the, the, the payment amount and I can actually then go ahead and put in my receipt, me as a actual um, operator, the AI operator is actually doing this. Click pay now and it's done, okay? So that's me taking payments over the phone. Now, I'll show you one more thing on payments, which I think is, you know, superb, is if you can, um, get a customer's direct debit authority. I don't know if any of you use direct debits or you already have existing direct debits. It can be a very manual process where you have to get a direct debit, then you have to um, do a run on the 7th or the 14th or the 30th of the month. And then when you do it, you have to upload the payments into your bank ABA file. It's a bit of a process to actually use direct debits. What we've tried to do is really simplify the whole process to say, if you have customers that you want to capture a direct debit on, right? Either you can get them to save their own details, like I showed you earlier, where when they pay, there was a tick box that said, um, you know, save my details. Or you could, on your end, say to your customer, um, can I send them a direct debit authority? So in the case of, let's say, Lockman Group, you will say, hey, you know, our terms now, if you want to keep working with us, you need to sign our, our direct debit authority. Okay, so through Easy Collect, you can actually send all your customers at bulk or individually a direct debit authority. What that does, it allows you to digitally, there's no paper-based forms, um, click on a customer that you want to send it to. You can see here that Marcus Hope will now get an email from you where when he clicks set up direct debit, he'll be taken to a page where he can actually set up his direct debit with you. And a, a direct debit may be really hard to capture, but it's the it's the holy grail, right? It means you don't have to ever chase a customer again. Um, so if I say I want to set up a, direct, a, a credit card direct debit with you, it's as simple as me putting in my email, first name, last name, my preferred payment method. I click agree, agree and confirm, and that's it. And EasyClick will automatically associate the, 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 that direct debit that got filled in to the customer in EasyCollect and in Sage. And so there'll be this trail now where there's no manual matching. Do I have a direct debit for this person or not? It's, it's all linked automatically. And then you can um, look at all your customers in Easy Collect that have a direct debit, and then you can do some real magical stuff. And when I say magical, the, 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 the direct debit gives you the ability to never have to chase again. It actually, you don't need Easy Collect uh, workflows. You just need to have the Easy Collect payments module. So if I look at all customers where I have a direct debit authority, this is an example of a filter that I'm running. On my, on, my, on my customer list, you can see I have two people here where I have a direct debit authority on. So let me click into one of them here. Um, maybe I'll, I'm not sure which is a better one to look at here. Maybe I'll click on this, this one. Let me just open this. I'll, let me try this one first. I wanna show you what you can actually do. Um, and it's pretty cool. So you can see when I have a direct debit authority up the top, it says direct debit authority acquired, all right? And, and if I have a direct debit authority acquired, Technically, technically, if, if your customer is agreed, then there's no need to ever chase this customer again. Because we can turn on something called auto collect, auto collect up here. What that is, this is hands free accounts receivables. It's the Tesla, I would say, GB, of, uh, account, of account receivables. It means that you can sit back and just watch what's happening. So you raise an invoice in Sage. Let's say COD or 30 day terms, it'll tick along 30 days later on the due date. It'll check, has that customer got a direct debit authority? Yep. Is today the due date? Yep. Let's send a reminder to the customer a day before that we're going to debit their account and we'll automatically debit the customer on the due date. Yep, done. And once it's done, all the history of the payments will be recorded. It will write it back into Sage. Don't have to do anything, literally nothing. 
right? But some customers might say, no, 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 you can't, you can't automatically debit me. Um, you need to, um, you, you need to kind of, um, you can have my, you can have my like direct debit authority, but you need to call me before you direct debit me, right? Because that could be the other use case where I want to have control of when you're going to take money out of my account. Right, which is pretty common as well. So then you would turn off, you would turn off auto collect, right? You would go into what we call manual mode, right? Um, sorry, I picked. Let me go back. I picked the wrong customer here. So give me a second. Uh, I'm just showing you what you can do with the direct debit authority um, on a mode where where um, you want to have more control of the process. Okay. So let, let give me a second. I'll load this customer. And what I'm going to show you now is how you can manually, with the permission of the customer, find an invoice that you actually want to um, pay, click on collect now, and then assuming there's a save payment, I picked the wrong customer again, is a save payment method, you can use the save payment method and collect now. So you, so you can actually use something that they've saved in the background and use that as a way to take the payment as well. Okay. Um, and you might say, look, direct debits have been on for a very long time. They have been, but what we're trying to do is, is automate the way it's used in your business, right? And give your customers um, and you a better experience in the direct debit process, okay? I can go a lot deeper into direct debits and you might have some, some questions on you know, how it works and what are the like reports. Um, we can go into that later on. I'm just uh, wary of time, it's 11.45 and we're a little bit over time almost. Um, the, the one thing is, um, once you um, set up EasyClick payments, you can also have a, you also have access to a portal where you can see all your transactions in a single place. Where you can do refunds, you can download reports, you can kind of really kind of slice and dice the data in terms of how you want to manage your payments if you need to do more complicated or more uh, involved things as well. So it's a fully functional payments for your customers with a portal, but also a back office where you can do refunds, manage your payments and everything else um, that goes with that too. So I've covered workflows, I've covered credit insights, and I've covered payments to high level. GB, anything you want to add to that? No, that's, look, it, it sometimes is very important with direct debits, especially if, if you've got subscription invoices and they're, they're they don't really have a, a, an impact on a business, then they can just be set and forget. Smaller invoices, but, you know, dealing with SMEs, if you've got a $25,000 invoice due, the last thing you want to do is present it when they've got payroll coming out and suddenly they can't pay their payroll. So, again, it's it's humanised collection. We want to be able to work with the customer. But when they say, look, not, not today, please, but, you know, Tuesday next week's fine. You can reset that date and it becomes automatic as well. So it does make life easy for you to, to be able to um, automate that collection process. I mean that is that is what our um, that is what the whole purpose behind Easy Collect is is to make sure that that you know, we we give say 300 customers the the solution that that will do something for them. Um, look if if you want to if you if you want to see more more in depth um, details of this or you want to see more specific demos please just call your account manager they will get in touch with me and and then we can set up a, a, a more detailed thing we can set up a trial for you so you can actually see it working with your data file there's no issue with that too and we can set that up for you for 14 or 21 days so you can actually you know, basically have a test drive before you do anything further. So, you know, from that point of view, um, that's pretty much the presentation um, at the moment. Look, I've got very, very quickly, I, I'll just show you the, the process for um, for integration to Save 300. <clears throat> Look, I, I apologise. Um, you can see that I'm you know, uh, over 200 years old, so that the last time I worked with Sage 300, it was called ACPAC, and I was in the accounting space, and I, I love ACPAC dearly, and I love Sage 300 dearly, so just bear with me if I show you a few quick slides, it brings back memories of when I used to use it. So basically, you know, we're all familiar with this screen, here's your, here's your payment workflow, when you create an invoice, and you create an invoice for three widgets for $450, $495, including GST, um, this is, of course, the, the little invoice um, summary page, which shows you what you've billed. 
this is how it appears in Easy Collect, and you can see that the $495 is appearing here as overdue. Um, we take the payment of $495, so the customer has, has basically selected the invoices they want to pay, and you immediately get a receipt. <clears throat> Look, the, the, the big benefit of this as well is being able to do it with sales orders because as I said earlier, a lot of people now are, are going on to prepay. Um, they they want to take someone's business, but they're happy to open them a COD account, but they're never going to give them credit. They might buy from you every six months um, or, or it might be a larger amount that you've got to, you've got to custom buy the product in to be able to ship to them. So. We also do this with sales orders, and, and the beauty of this, of course, is to automate the whole process so that Sage 300 puts a little trigger in, so when the sales order payment's made, it triggers the big pack slip, so you get that full automation from basically sales order to payment, and then you're not chasing sales orders as well. You're not wondering if, because that's the other bane of sales orders, isn't it? You, you create 20 or 30 over the week or over the day, and then you've got to chase people for them. And with Easy Collect, that makes it easy because there's a pay now button. And then you immediately get a receipt. This is, in, this is in real time. This receipt that I'm showing you now, the moment someone pays an invoice or a sales order, you get a receipt. So you, you can see what the, the payment is. Um, and then of course, then it, it'll go through into the document inquiry. If you do it here and you can see the 495 sitting there as the agreed amount and it's applied to the correct invoice. So, so basically, please reach out to your account manager um, if you want a, any more detail or a, a more in-depth demo that specifically talking about your business. But if you sign up and get before the 15th of December, which is six weeks away, um, you'll get the first month of Easy Collect absolutely free. So, and if you all rush at me at once, uh, I'll cover AJ's ears here. I'll, I can probably make you an even nicer deal if, if you get in quickly with me. So, you know, the first 230 people that call me, I'll, <laughs> I'll give you something special. So, <laughs> but no, please, Very good. Please, please don't be shy. I know we're all coming into Christmas. I know it's a busy time for us all, but you know, it'd be, a, it'd be great if you looked at this and thought this is really going to be a big benefit to my business. I want to get up and running for when we get back on holiday after January. Um, I'll reach out now. I'll get the team involved. We'll do a full demo um, and then we can get things organised for you.